at the end of this legislative session, the concept transcribed in the Declaration of Independence of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness will truly become a reality for so many Marylanders who have been denied it for hundreds of years, and that is the right for same-sex couples to get married here in Maryland. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. Right. I'm loving the, the signs behind me. The love will prevail and standing on the side of love. This is what this is about. You are at the, coming to the end of what I would say is a long journey, and we need to make that final push over the finish line. With your help, we will have marriage equality in Maryland, and we will have love in the air. So I am so happy to see everybody here today standing on the side of love. Uh, it is Valentine's Day, and we have learned so much over the last few years about how to love ourselves and to love each other just the way that we are. This issue here hits me in the heart so bad, so bad. Six years ago, I was fired from a trucking company because I decided to transition while I was driving a tractor trailer out on the road. I was making good money. After I was fired from that job, well, blackballed out of that job, I began to snowball downhill. I became homeless. And I ended up in a shelter because of that injustice of firing me. I have the pleasure to run a national campaign. It's an interfaith campaign of the Unitarian Universalist Association called Standing on the Side of Love. And today, we're part of a much broader movement. There are 150 communities and congregations across the United States of America that are reimagining Valentine's Day as a holiday of love and acceptance for all people. For the people of Maryland who might be seeing this on the news tonight and who might not yet be there and comfortable with the idea of ending marriage discrimination for same-sex couples in Maryland. And to you I say, we come here tonight in love and if you look at us and you see sin, please look deeper into your hearts and see our humanity and see our love. Yes. I was speaking to my friend Lisa Motay before with the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force. She wrote uh, a, a research, the, the largest, most groundbreaking research study on the lives of transgender individuals recently came out. She co-authored this, and we were talking about the study, and it is literally heart-wrenching. It is unbelievable, and we have to put at the top of the list, standing up and ending discrimination on the basis of gender identity and expression. It is immoral and we have moved past it. I was in Knoxville, Tennessee yesterday at the Tennessee Valley Unitarian Universalist Church. This congregation two and a half years ago was victim to a shooting that killed two people. Why? Because they were liberal and they accepted gays. That's what the shooter said. And we had a fantastic service and we sang a song, Sia Hamba, which is a South African freedom anthem, which means we are marching. We are marching in the name of love. We are marching in the name of love. We are marching. We are marching. We are marching in the name of love. We are marching in the town of love. I don't think they can hear you. We are standing on the side of love. 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 Everybody. 